muscles contract or relax through a process called the sliding filament theory. Now, the sliding filament theory can be looked at like a zipper. If you think about a zipper, zipping it up, zipping it down, zipping it up, or side to side, zippers can go either direction, right? And that is the way that these two key proteins in muscle fibers, actin and myosin, how they react together. So when a muscle contracts because it received a signal from the brain to the muscle to contract, uh oh, Dr. Brooke is going to come to a standing position after she's sitting down recording this podcast. She's going to stand up. So the brain sending those signals saying, hey, we got to stabilize the core. We got to get the back and and the legs going. We got to contract those muscles and then we'll relax them in a moment, right? Back and forth, back and forth. That zipper mechanism, those actin and myosin proteins that are acting on that is they are like grabbing and releasing, grabbing and releasing. And that is happening because the brain is sending those electrical signals to release calcium and ATP into that muscle. So these nerve cells are working and connecting and doing what they need to do to send information. One nerve cell, it has to hit a certain electrical signal, like in order for the signal to go through. So if it does not hit that level, that signal will will just die out. It will not get through. It has to hit this threshold every single time for that nerve impulse to go off. It is so crazy because the amount of things that could go wrong in the body, and this is not to scare anybody, but the amount of things that could go wrong and the amount of things that don't go wrong because everything is going and there's so much intelligence in the body. And if one thing is failing, the body will pick up in another area and 